Snatch and Slay gang. It's been a minute. I know I've been off my game a little here lately, but it's kind of hard to have like a full-time job and film. But I'm trying to make it do what it do, trying to make it work. Today we're back with yet another big screen look for you today. And today's look will be inspired by one of my all-time favorite movies, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I just don't believe it. I won't believe it. I can't believe it. I said believe it. Believe it, kid. I took the pictures myself. She played patty cake. No, not my Jessica. Not patty cake. This is impossible. I don't believe it. It can't be. It just can't be. Jessica's my wife. It's absolutely impossible. Jessica's the light of my life. The apple of my eye. The green of my I just love this movie. I don't know why it's so old. The movie came out like in 1980 something before I was even born, but it didn't take me long to latch onto it once I actually watched it. So good. We're going to be inspired by Miss Jessica Rabbit today and get into it. I have an idea of what I want to do. We'll see where we go with it. And don't be alarmed if you hear a bird chirping in the background. There's not a bird in your house or where you are, there's a bird in my home. Okay, so just FYI. Okay, before we jump into it, I need you to jump, uh, do a couple of things for me. Be sure to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of the Snatch and Slay gang. And don't forget to click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads, therefore making it easier for you to come and Snatch and Slay on the regular. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. And, I do want to say that I will be using a couple of new products today that I have not tried out. I've had them for a while. I've been trying to hold out to use some of these products for you guys so you can see how they work and if you want to spend your coin on them. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because I, I literally use the same products every time so I don't want to be a bore. We're going to jump straight into my favorite part of makeup, eyeshadow. Well, one of my favorite parts of makeup. I'm gonna do some purples, um, maybe a touch of black. We'll see where the inspiration takes us. I'm gonna be using my trusty Jaclyn Hill palette. I haven't used in a while. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, <laughs> like so many, but I just gravitate towards what I already know that I like and the colors that I'm looking for. This is like always my go-to. So, but I promise I'll share all the rest of the one, all the rest of my eyeshadow palettes with you in the future. Trust me. I'm also going to be using this. I don't think I've ever used this on camera before this, uh, eyeshadow palette by Elmar Cosmetics Spanglish. And it's a pretty, pretty, pretty palette. And you can see all the purples. I'm going to jump in, um, to the Jaclyn Hill palette first. I think I'm going to start off with, I'm going to definitely go in with Not My Journey, this one right here. I don't know if I want to pack it first and then blend it out with Therapy Sesh, this shade above it, um, or just go in with Therapy Sesh. I think I'm going to go in with Therapy Sesh first and then go from there. I'm going to use this brush by Elaine. Mm, I just got this in a, these three brushes in a boxy, my recent boxy charm. And they're from Eleanor. I think it says Elenia. Bardro, I, I'm butchering this. I know I've got a blush brush, a blending brush, and an angled brush. So I'm going to go in with this brush to um, set our first shade that we're going to use. I'm going to take it uh, like a little bit above the crease, like right below the brow bone to start off. For those of you who have not, of course, I always like to talk about the actual movie that I'm being inspired by. It's one of those movies that um it's i mean i guess children could probably watch it but it is a little it is a little a bit on the adult side but it's like animated and it actually has real actual people in it too like real humans <laughs> it's pretty much about um roger rabbit is in a bind he thinks jessica rabbit is cheating on him <laughs> really that's not even like the plot of the movie the plot the, the storyline of the movie is this guy, which I forgot his name, but this guy is like an undercover cop or agent or whatever. And 
uh, people hire him to find out things. He's like a private, he's like a private investigator, so to speak. He gets hired by um, this guy that owns Toontown. He wants him to find out uh, whether or not Jessica Rabbit was fooling around on Roger Rabbit. He starts to find out other things. And then this, the, the villain of the movie, uh, which I forgot his name too. It's been a minute since I've watched this, you guys. But the villain of the movie is trying to destroy all animated characters in the movie. He's trying to destroy Toontown, which is where, you know, tombs come from in the movies. The private investigator guy is trying not to let that happen. But he kind of has to be persuaded to not let it happen because he used to have a brother that also was a, a private investigator with him, but his brother ended up dying because of a tune. And he had like a grudge towards tunes for the majority of the beginning of the movie. But then he, once he starts helping Roger Rabbit, because him and Roger Rabbit become like a, a, a team, so to speak, he kind of lightens up a little and then helps, tries to help the town, tune town, and help it not be destroyed by the bad guy. That's like the gist of the movie, really. There's really not much to tell about it, but it's so old. I think it came out in 1987 or 88, something like that. It was like maybe two or three years before I was born. So it's very old, but it's very funny. You will get a laugh out of it, trust me. Going right above the crease here with this lighter purple shade. I hope everybody's been doing well um, with everything. It seems like the world is still kind of office access a little bit, if you know, if you catch my drift. Like I always say, you have to stay prayed up because you never know. And I'm just trying to make sure all of this is blended. Now we're going to go in with a different blending brush. And we're gonna go in with this this darker purple shade um, called Not My Journey in this Jaclyn Hill palette. As soon as I find, I guess I'll use this one. I'm gonna use this um, tapered blending brush by Lavish. I got this thing in a boxy charm one month. It's called Quick Color Switch Dry Makeup Brush Clean uh, Dry Makeup Brush Cleaner by Lavish as well. So cool. It's like this spongy thing, and you just whirl your your makeup brush around and it because obviously you don't have I mean I don't know about y'all but I don't always have time to clean my makeup brushes so if you have to use a brush that you've already used in a different with a different shade on it little rab 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 and boom you're cool so I love this thing I'm gonna go on with that darker purple and we're gonna take it right here in the crease Anybody have any plans for Halloween? It's coming up soon. I think I'm gonna be, well, I know for a fact what I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna be a gothic person. I'm gonna be like a, a very dark person who might look like she's might be, you know, somewhat of a devil worshiper. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna, that's what I'm, that's the look I'm going for this year. And I will be vlogging again this year for Halloween. So stay tuned for that. I'm actually gonna take the purple all the way on the lid as well. I'm probably gonna go in with a, a flat brush to, to go all over the lid. But right now I'm just gonna continue to blend out this darker purple. I'm gonna go in with this flat brush to take that same shade all over the lid. I think what I'm going to do, what my goal is, is to do like a highlighted, um, or not, I'm sorry, not a highlighted, but a spotlight eye. So a spotlight eye is sort of something like, it's almost like a cut crease, but not really. You're just taking like a shimmer shade and putting it right in smack dab in the middle of your lid. And it kind of, it's like a spotlight pretty much. I'm actually going to go in with another brush. I think I'm going to take this one by Moda and I'm going to go in with this black here in the same palette and it's in the shade Temptress 
It has a smidge of glitter in it, but it's not anything too crazy. So, and I'm gonna take that on the outer corner and the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go slightly in the crease with this as well. But mainly focusing it on the outer corner. And I think I am gonna go just a smidge in the crease as well with this. Not a lot, but just to connect the outer corner and the inner corner. And I'm actually gonna go back in with that brush that we used for the lighter shade to help blend this out even more. I'm not going in with any more product, just using the brush to blend. I'm gonna do the same with the brushy, re, the same brush that we use for the darker purple. I'm gonna go kind of like right on top of that black. Again, not going in with any more product, just using what's left on the brush. I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended out. Now I'm gonna use the same flat brush that we used to go all over the lid with the purple. I'm gonna use my trusty brush cleaner. I'm gonna go in to this Spanglish palette by Alamar. I'm gonna hop in with this shade first, the um, Guayo. I think I'm saying this, all these words are, I'm probably mispronouncing like crazy because I think they're all in Spanish, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go in with this shade here and I'm gonna take it right in the middle of my lid. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm actually gonna go in, actually, I'm gonna go in with my finger with this. Because a lot of times when you use your finger with uh, shimmer shades, it, the outcome is a lot better. You get a lot more pigment. See, look at that. Perfecto. I'm just taking it all the way up towards the crease there. All right, now I'm gonna take this lighter shade in the same palette, going right above the crease, I mean, about right above that shade, the lighter purple shade, and I'm gonna go over this, the shimmer shade we just used. I'm gonna do it with the brush first. All right, and we're gonna go in with that same brush that we use for the dark for the black shade and we're just gonna go over the parts that we did the outer, the outer corner and the inner corner just to make sure everything's nicely blended with the shimmer just taking some of that the darker shimmer and taking it kind of on the outside a little towards the outer corner of the I actually gonna take some of this um, purple shade or this purple shimmer in the Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade Good Place, and I'm gonna go on top of what I did on the outer corner, just a smidge. We're gonna um, exit with the eyes for now, and now we're gonna go into our face. And I'm gonna be using a brand spanking new primer that I've never tried before. It is by Georgetta Klinger, the Marla primer um, for all skin types. And this is supposed to be used for um, toning, cleansing, and well, it says use after cleansing and toning your skin. Use clean dry fingers to apply a light layer of primer to clean skin. So, and then it says wait 15 to 30 seconds 
for the product to set before applying foundation and makeup. I washed my face with, with cleanser and stuff before I even started my makeup. We're gonna go ahead in with this to try it out and see. And it says you can use this over um, if you have like big pores or fine lines um, on your skin. And I have fine lines under my eyelid, under my eyes here. But we're gonna go in with this right on it. Underneath the eyes here. And it says use your fingers to apply. So. That's what I am doing. And I'm just going to focus it there. And then I'm going to bring a little all over the face. So all of our skin is well and primed. It says wait. 15 to 30 seconds, so. So I think we're good. I think that was at least 15 to 30 seconds. But now we're gonna go on with our foundation and we're using a foundation that I have never used before. I'm super excited. I've been trying, I've been meaning to try it out for a good while now. Infallible Freshwear by L'Oreal. And I have the shade 535. And it's supposed to last for 24 hours. It's supposed to be breathable. I didn't think I got the fresh work on. I thought I got the other kind, but it's okay. I'm not really a, a fresh word type of gal. Like if I wear foundation, it's gonna be full coverage, but hopefully, you know, we'll put one layer of this on and see how it goes. And if I, we need to build it up, we'll, we'll do that. So I'm just gonna Do a little pump there. Yeah, I just got that everywhere, but it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. We're gonna go in with a foundation brush to blend this out. And it feels a very liquidy on the skin, so we'll see what it looks like once we actually blend it out. Yeah, I'm a full coverage type of chick, so I normally don't like look. I really, I don't. I normally don't go towards the the lighter wear. Like this is definitely giving a little bit of a scent to it too, which isn't bad. It's covering up. It seems to be covering up everything, but you can definitely tell it's not full full coverage, which I don't think it intends to be because again, it's called fresh wear, so it's supposed to have like a more natural finish but it still gives a nice coverage here but i can still see some of my blemishes a little bit peeking through and it's not bad but i think i'm gonna go in with a couple more pumps just to even it all out that should do it like i said it is buildable so if you're like me and you prefer the fuller coverage, then this is definitely a foundation that can build. But if you prefer more of the natural look, then this is def this is perfect for you. Sort of a, a luminous look to it too. Um, that might go away once it dries down, but I think it's supposed to be luminous as well. The uh, foundation does have sunscreen in it too, so uh, just FYI. Yeah, I don't see where it's supposed to be luminous, but I'm giving, I'm getting a little glow here, so that's nice. Now we're gonna go in with some concealer. We're gonna, gonna use a Tarte Shape Tape in the shade uh, Deep Sand, and we're gonna go and conceal our face. And we're gonna go in with the blending sponge to blend that all out. And normally I don't, I don't normally um, damp my sponges like a lot of people do. Just because I find that it takes off some of the product off of your face. It kind of lifts it off the face. And so I don't, I normally don't um, damp my sponges because of that fact. But today I did because I needed a clean beauty sponge. <laughs> so that obviously it has to include water to do that, to clean it. So... I did it right before I started filming, so therefore, 
is damp. So I said, it's okay, I'll just use it damp. But normally I use them dry. We're gonna go in with some setting powder and I'm gonna be using the I Heart Revolution banana, chocolate banana powder under my eyes. I'm gonna take the remainder of that on my forehead, down my nose, and my chin. Actually, I'm gonna go on with a little bit more on my chin. I take this brush to whisk the excess away here. I'm gonna take this setting spray from Urban Decay, the All Nighter setting spray, and just uh. Spritz the face to suck up any of this excess powder we might have. Now we're going to cream bronze and we're going to take this um, Tantor Contour and Bronzer by Huda Beauty and cream, cream contour the face. I'm going to take some on the forehead as well. I'm gonna go ahead and blush with this Saharian Blush Volume 1 palette. I think I'm gonna go in with, I think I might go in with Abby today. It's a darker blush in the palette here. Maybe a mixture of these two. And go in with this blush brush to blush out the cheeks. For some reason, my pets know, I feel like they know that I'm filming, so they want to make all the noise in the world. Why do they want to do that to me? I feel like it's just so rude. And I'm going to go in with this highlight by Becca and the shade Champagne Pop. It's been a minute since I've used this, but look at that. So freaking pretty. And we're going to go on the cheekbones here. Bow, bow, bow. And I'm gonna take my fan brush and go a little bit down the cheeks, or I'm sorry, a little down the um, the nose. With that same highlight. And I'm gonna take some bronzer. I'm gonna take this Hula Toasted Bronzer by Benefit. And we're just gonna set that cream blush, uh, that cream bronzer that we went in with. I'm gonna take this contour brush to do that. That's the thing about using cream products, you always wanna go in and set it so it stays. I'm gonna go in with this Fit Me um, Loose Setting Powder by Maybelline. And I'm just gonna go right underneath the cheekbones here so we can chisel that out some. I'm gonna go in with this sponge. To do it. Just chiseling out the cheeks so we have a more defined cheekbone. You feel me? And I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it off with this brush. Now we're gonna go back into the eyes and we are going to I think I'm gonna go back in with a darker color shade of purple, um, Not My Journey. And we're gonna go on the lower lash line with that. I'm gonna take this small brush by Lavish, this eye shading brush, and go on the lower lash line with that. I'm gonna go on with this, uh, Crease brush by e.l.f. and I'm going to go in with the lighter color shade and a therapy sesh in the Jaclyn Hill palette to help blend the lower lash line out. And I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade that we use, the lighter shimmer shade in this palette right here. And I'm gonna go in the inner corner with that. I'm 
right, now I'm going to go with some mascara. I'm going to be using the Sky High um, Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. And I'm going to just go and coat the lower lashes as well as the top lashes. All right, you guys. So I went in and popped some lashes on. Um, they're the same lashes I've used the last couple of videos. Now we're going to do our lips. And I'm doing something different that I probably would never do before. I would probably would have never pair with with this eye look and this color I'm about to do. But in essence of what we're being inspired by, which is Frame Roger Rabbit, aka Jessica Rabbit, we are going to do some red lips because Jessica Rabbit is all about the red. I'm going to be using some new products for this too. So, and I'm using products that I don't normally use because I don't normally do lip liner. I usually just pop on the lippy and call it a day. We're going to use this lip liner by Beauty Vault and it's in the shade Carmen. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a dark shade, a darker shade. And then we're going to go on with this um, matte lip by Beauty Vault as well and it is in the shade Natty Nat. So we're gonna go in and line the lips first. Ebony is a little bit out of her comfort zone with this but it's gonna be okay. This lip liner is really good. It's very buttery, like it like just glides on the lips, which is amazing. All right now, we're gonna go on with the lips, matte lipstick. Why does my dog want to play with his toy right now? I'm filming. I am filming. Oh, it's a lot brighter than I would have expected it to be, but it's not bad. I think the darker shade is helping out with the, it's evening out the, the lighter shade of the lipstick. It is starting to dry down as a matte too, so that's great, cause you know, your girl's a matte kind of gal. One more spritz of this all nighter um, by Ur all nighter setting spray by Urban Decay. All right, ladies and gents. So now that we're already snatched, let's go ahead and get played. Well, that does it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Peace.